Hey, what's up everyone? Shane here with another campfire rant. Today is going to be an educational rant and it's going to be on solar because a lot of people don't always understand how solar works and I'm going to attempt to kind of explain it in a very basic way. I don't like to get too technical. I don't consider myself a technical person, but I kind of know how it works and I have worked on these systems a little bit here and there. So let me explain it to you before we get too far into it. If you like these rants, if you feel like they're educational, feel free to share them, make any comments and go to our other rant playlist and you can learn all kinds of stuff. We go through tons and tons of topics about the secret ways to find the best campsites, etc. So today I want to talk about solar. And like I said, this is going to be more geared towards educational. So solar, what is solar? Solar is a device that sits typically on top of the roof of your trailer. It could be glass or it could be a plastic or a rubber material with solar cells that collect energy from the sun. So this solar panel uh, that sits on your roof, and there's a lot of different types of panels, like I said, flexible ones, there's flat ones, there's elevated panels, generally elevated glass panels are the best panels you can buy out there on the market. They're usually the most efficient, but these solar panels, they sit on your roof and what they do is they collect energy. They do not give you energy, they just collect it. This is important to understand because a lot of people are like, oh, what can I run off of solar? Nothing, you can run nothing off of solar. Nothing runs off of solar. Now, what can you run off of battery? Well, that's a different question. Or what can you run off of power if you were to plug your trailer in, right? So generally speaking, a trailer is going to have a few different power options. It's gonna have a power called a 120 volt power. And that's like shore power. That comes from the yachting industry. Shore power is where you plug into the shore. Like a boat is in the water and they get a cord and they plug it into the shore and it gives them electricity into their boat and they can run all of their things that they want. TVs, coffee pots, air conditioning units, whatever it is. Now you unplug it. So how do you have power if you're not plugged into shore? This is RVs use the same terminology. So if you're not plugged into shore power, there's two things you could run off of if you're not into shore power. You could run off of a generator, which is like a little engine that you put gas in and that engine creates energy. And so you plug it in the generator, you power your trailer up through a generator. Then the next way that you can power things in your trailer is through a battery. So every trailer has a battery on board and that battery will power lights, it will power refrigerators, it will power different things like your furnace is powered off propane slash electricity, right? Electricity starts it, gets the fan, the blower to blow the hot air out, but propane is what actually heats it up. So your trailer is going to run off of battery. A lot of people are like, oh, like what does the solar run? The solar once again does not run anything. It just collects energy. And what it does is it takes the energy down and it stores the energy into a battery. And then you use the battery to power your lights. But before you actually get to the battery, there's something else before the battery. So you have your solar panel on the roof and sometimes you'll hear it referred to as a solar array. All that's saying is it's all of the panels together is the solar array. And then you would follow the wires down and before you get to the battery, in between the solar array and the battery is this thing called a solar charge controller. And there's different types of solar charge controllers. And essentially, what that solar charge controller does is it takes that energy that the solar panel is collecting and it regulates it going into the batteries and it charges the batteries with that power. And the battery, you could look at it as like a water tank, right? And essentially, you know, the sun is going to send that through the solar panels, through the solar charge controller to the batteries, and it's going to fill up the battery with power. And then you on the other side of the battery, you're going to turn on the light and it's going to take the battery power and it's going to power the light and then you're going to have light. And that's really cool. And that's how RVs work. So RVs without a battery, 
solar is useless. You have to have the battery. The solar doesn't do anything unless you actually have a battery. Now, a lot of people are like, well, uh, you know, I want to power more stuff, so I want more solar. Well, that's not necessarily the right way to go about it because all solar is doing is collecting power and filling up the battery. So if you want more power, you don't necessarily want more solar because remember, it's like a barrel to fill up water. So what you're saying is I want more water. Well, if you want more water, I suppose you could turn on the source and spray more water down and it could start flooding everything. But if you want to collect more water or have more power, what you need to do is get a bigger barrel so you can store more water. And that's essentially what you're doing with batteries. You get a bigger battery or you get two batteries or four batteries and you put them together and now you have a larger battery which means you have more power and now you can run your lights longer or you can run more lights or you can run your refrigerator longer so the larger battery you have is the more power you'll have to be able to use while you're camping now what happens when your battery starts draining and it's getting low well hopefully your solar panel will charge it back up but what if you start using more power and you only have one solar panel? What if your solar array is only one panel? So why would you want more solar? Well, more solar would be able to collect more energy from the sun. And if you can collect more energy, you can send more energy down to the batteries so that you can charge your batteries faster so that you can use more power. So a lot of people get confused about like, wait, how does it work? What does solar do? What can I power off of solar? You can't power anything off of solar. You power everything off of the battery. But if you have more solar panels, you can charge your batteries faster. And if you have more batteries, you can run things longer and you can run bigger things longer. That's really today all I want to get into. Maybe next week we can get into some of the different power systems because batteries can't run everything. Like say you want to run a blow dryer, you want to run a television. Well, you can't do that on a battery because batteries are, they don't put out enough voltage to run those devices. So stay tuned for next week and I'll go over what you can do on the other side of the battery because like I said, batteries can't run televisions coffee pots, blow dryers, air conditioners. I'm gonna go into more detail next week on how you can make it so your trailer can run anything off grid with the right solar and battery system. There's some other components you need though, so stay tuned for that. We actually do have a list in the link below. It's a downloadable PDF. It's a kind of a cheat sheet. It's gonna go over all kinds of different things, kind of give you a quick guide on how many watts certain components take and that's going to be good for you to get and print off and take it with you camping so subscribe share if this is educational to you if you've learned something thanks for watching and i'll talk to you later bye bye